My name is Marianne and I'm an alcoholic. Looking back in, into our past is hard. It's really hard. The first time I was able to talk about anything like that was in here. It was such an emotional night for me. I found there was so much support from people in this room. And Sean was one of the people who was there for me. I wet his t-shirt. Oh, with your tears. Sorry, sorry. I, I got the wrong mental. Is this a joke to you? We're talking about people's pasts. I went through things too. As a kid, like with my brother, really difficult stuff. We'd be watching television and for no reason at all, he would pin me to the ground. He would hold me down and he would sit on my face and he would... break wind. It, 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 it made me feel... I was abused in the foster home. Good. I... Well, I mean, well done for being able to talk about it. to, but everything that makes one think of alcoholism as a disease is in fact incorrect, all the precepts of disease theory. The idea that it's inbred and lifelong, it's not. This is wrong. External factors, your cultural background, your social group, uh, your st stress levels in life all have a tremendous impact on problem drinking and alcoholism. The idea that it doesn't bear any relationship to your social class is wrong. In fact, in the United States, the higher your social class, the more likely you are to drink, but the less likely you are to have a drinking problem. So much information about people, their lives, their backgrounds, in order to shoehorn alcoholism into the disease category, that it's totally unscientific and dysfunctional to try to do so. 